So this is the uh, floro uh, views. These are the floro views. So this is the femur. This is where we enter through. Uh, so we puncture the femoral artery. We pass the wire across. We will go So this the side, right side image. You can see is the arch of the aorta. And this is the calcification of the aortic annular on the aortic valve. So this is a pigtail catheter where we even check the annular uh, uh, plane. Okay, so this this is the aortic valve where we cross the aortic valve with a wire, and this is a temporary pacemaker which is the RV, and this is the, the two dots you can see on the wire. This is the balloon. So with the the aortic valve you can see there is a lot of calcification, and we pre dilate such uh, valves before implanting the valve. Okay, so the right side one you can see it's a balloon mounted, uh, balloon expandable. Well, you can see the three markers. Uh, I'll show you after the expansion. So this is how we place after pre dilatation. We place in the uh, there is the this markers where we need to align. The after the alignment, we place it and we expand with the balloon in deflator from outside. So this is how the valve looks. This is the frame. So bio, this is the bioprosthetic uh, valve will be there inside where generally it's not seen fluoroscopically. So the frame can be seen. You can see this. Uh, this is after the deployment. So after the deployment, this is how the valve looks. This is a balloon expandable stent. So the right side one, uh, you can see we just remove the sheet and then we use special devices to close the artery so that there won't be any bleeding complications. So this is another case. The first thing you can see is the heart. This is the arch of the aorta. There is a pigtail catheter and the wire we crossed it and we kept a temporary pacemaker in the right ventricle. The wire we passed it to a very stiff wire. We, kept, we keep it in the left ventricle. And this is a self-expandable valve where you can see it's, it's being expanded here. It's not fully expanded. Uh, with this, uh, we can use like three times. We can just... Uh, 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 get back the valve inside and uh, align it, do it again. Three times you can do like that. So only self-expandable valve has such uh, facility. And uh, once you deploy, you can see the self-expandable valve, it is deployed and the uh, valve, the bioprostic valve will be a little bit above the aortic signs. There's a little supravalar. Uh, doctor, can we have it on the full screen? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, can you see? Uh, no, doctor. Get on slideshow. Can you see? Yes, doctor. Thank you. This is this is a self-expandable valve, uh, the left side to you, where this is the uh, like uh, we can't recapture the valve after this. So after deploying, this is how it looks. This is a self-expandable valve. Previously, I showed you a balloon expandable valve. So once it was aligned, once we check all the pressure, the aortic gradient is fine, everything. So we remove all the pigtails and all the wires and all. So this will be there. This will place the So this is a case where already previously surgical aortic valve replacement was done with a bioprostic valve. And again, it gets degenerated. It got degenerated. And so we did a valve in valve. So there is a frame, the, the previous valve frame is there. So inside that, we uh, took another valve and, and uh, deployed. And because the coronary height is little uh, small, the length is little small. So we are protecting the coronaries by engaging the coronaries and putting a wire inside so that once if once when any obstruction happens it will be very difficult to go back so we protect the coronaries and then we deploy so this is how you can see the self expandable uh, uh, valve is being done through the old frame old surgical frame so you can see how this is how it's seen after deploying the self expandable valve this is valve in valve Our experiences uh, we have with it around uh, 77 after this uh, slides also we did uh, around 11 cases. Uh, we did around 80 to 85 cases uh, till now. And uh, all the almost 78% of the patients are above 75 years of age. 
and uh, 22 gears were biker speed, 40 self expandable valves, and 37 balloon expandable valves. We used valve in valve is around four, around four cases. Uh, last we did two or six cases. Uh, the complications happened one in, in hospital death, that two mainly because of TPL lead perforation, and uh, four patients needed permanent pacemaker implantation. No severe valvular and paravalvular leak, and no restenosis. So the evolving indications, as we are discussing before, even for the low risk patients, younger patients, asymptomatic severe AS, uh, TAVA is being indicated. So this, these are the evolving indications where they are in, involved in the part of treatment.